So with this project, we started with a completely replicate F1 car, right? So as authentic as we could make it. And the only way we could do that was to partner up with a company that specializes in making the replica cars for the actual F1 teams to use as show cars. This car had to fit in someone's garage, car barn, right? So it had to look really cool. Uh, which meant that we couldn't put the motion system way up high and make it radical degrees of motion. This thing has to look as much like a show car as it is a motion simulator at the same time. So you know, it's a constant balance of making it look great, but also making it a great simulator at the same time. We have a lot of experience now with moving cars, full cars, and each one of them is different and has a different need. When we did the Radical, it was, you know, tires touching the ground, articulating suspension. That was a racing chassis, so we had pickup points that we could use. Uh, whereas this one's a replica, this one doesn't look correct with the wheels touching the ground and at full extension for motion and having articulating suspension. So that means the entire car needs to float. There were a lot of balances and you know, with every one of these projects, that's why Special Projects is such a great place for these things to go because every one of these is bespoke. Every one of these is custom. Every one of these needs a different solution to fit. We started with a blank sheet and said, okay, what do you want? This customer said he wanted a full motion, Formula One car, full car, as authentic as possible with uh, the authentic seating position, seat, steering wheel, movable pedals. He wanted a completely wrap around screen system and VR all in one, but then he wanted it to be as easy to use as like an Xbox. He wants to drive all the different cars, all the different tracks in history, uh, but it's all Formula One, right? So this simulator is actually gonna be delivered with three different pieces of software ranging from really hardcore training software all the way to total entertainment software um, so that everyone he puts in the sim will be able to enjoy this, right? Now, for himself, being super, super authentic and using training level quality software, all the way to all of his friends who just want to jump in and have a good time, but in a Formula One car. My personal background in racing really lined up with this car. I've never raced Formula One, but I have raced formula cars and I have a lot of background in that area and that helped with a lot of different things. Uh, one was seating position. Modern open wheel cars have a very radical seating position. You are laying down essentially and you're looking over the top of the car. So seating position, getting the seat to feel right, getting the visual picture to line up correctly, that was something I really spent a lot of time personally with this car getting right because it was something I knew. Right? I knew what it should look like, what it should feel like, where the steering wheel should be, you know, height, angle, everything. I think projects like this are a good example of how far we're willing to go, how deep we dive into the details. You know, a customer comes with a, to us with a specific request and a specific set of needs, whether they realize it or not. You know, it has to look cool, it has to do this, it has to do that and how far we'll go to engineer something just to fight for the last nth degree of realism and quality.